guys, I was trying to go live and the my device was asking me to go vertical, but I like doing these live streams in horizontal. So here we are, horizontal on YouTube. If you don't already know, I'm Heather Boyd, Heather Boyd Wire, Wire Lady TV every Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and today we are continuing with our Wizard of Oz. Uh, designs. So I've actually put together a whole PDF book with all the designs. This is what this is what I sell in my Etsy DIY shop. So this is I've got quite a collection. Usually the live streams I just do a couple of pages, but because this is I think my fourth or fifth time doing Wizard of Oz, I've put together a little book that's available and when you buy five or more templates in my Etsy DIY shop, you can save 25% using the coupon code SAVE25. So that's S A V E, capital letters. Uh, and number two, number five. Hi, Bernice, how are you? So that's that. Let me flip the screen. We are going to be doing the witches today. And I'm going to just put my templates there. We are going to turn the screen. There we go. And I am going to sit and pull up the video on my computer. So let us find the video so I can see your comments. Let's see, there we go. I can't do a thumbnail anymore, which is really strange. Hi, Amber. So Tree Sap Girl, if you guys don't already know, is Amber. She is the moderator of my YouTube channel. And hi, hi, Ash, Ashley to Art. Cool. So we have the templates here. Hi, Amy. Hi, Christine. Nice, lots of people hopping on. So yeah, so I showed you the templates. And then this is, um, my last video was the my favorite beads. So you can get this one page printout uh, in the description of that video to learn about my favorite beads. And then I did the one with my favorite wires. So these are all videos that you can find on my channel. And what I am going to do today is continue with the Wizard of Oz. I'm just sorting out all my stuff. And then I've also put together books, Live Wires Create Pendants. So that's a whole like printable book there. And then I have one for the 10 day wire tree making challenge, a whole printable book there. So these are all the templates and stuff that you need. You can do the videos without the templates. They are standalone, but if you need more support, I have it in my Etsy DIY shop. So here, let's me get my wires all ready here. And Flying Monkeys was fun last week. Yeah, we did that last week. That was super fun. And let me just see what we got. So we're gonna do the witches today. Uh, these were the these were the ones from the first week. And then the these were like more detailed drawings of the ones we did in the first week. And then we did Toto and the Flying Monkeys uh, last week. So let's do the witches. And as always, we'll start with some 20 gauge wire. And I'll start with the Good Witch. So that's Glenda. And maybe we should get some pink for her dress. So I'm gonna have to see about that. And I'll do the arms, I think with gold, or I could do them with silver. I'm not sure I have, oh, I do have this older spool of silver wire. I can use that one. And there's also all, all kinds of other ones like the um, the hot air balloon I liked and the house on the tornado. Maybe we'll do more next week. We're going to have to see, but we're going to be getting into Halloween. So we want to be doing that. And now Glenda's dress is um, pink. So let me see what I can find for that. I might have to do like a bright pink. So I have this 20 four gauge wire in the bright pink. And then I have some more pink. I have a lot of random colors here. So I don't know if I have spools of pink in, oh, I do, look at that. I have, this is beautiful. Why don't we just use that for the dress and we can go from there. I might use some beads as well. It's always the preparation that takes a little time. But remember with Dorothy, we did the dress first. So why don't we do that? We can do the dress first. I'm gonna remove these wires for now and see what we can do. So 
I've got this, if your wire is a little crinkled, you can get some nylon job pliers and just straighten out the wire a little bit too. So Beadlon also has a wire straightening tool. I have that as well, but this works well just to do that. This is quite thick, this 20 gauge wire, but I think I will use it at least for the outline of the dress. Now, how much do we need? Probably a ruler would be a good idea. In fact, I should keep notes so I know how much wire that I use. It's always good to put on the templates how much wire we use. So here's a ruler, and for the outline of the dress, maybe we'll just go with about 18 or 20 inches. What do we go? Uh, that would be 20. We could go with 20 inches. Let's do that and clip that off. Yeah, I love these containers for my um, that I have for my wires now. They're really handy. They're the flat ones from, from the dollar store. I don't know if I turn this, I can show you guys. Like here, let me just turn my screen a little bit and you can see them a little bit. Yeah, so those are my, those are my wire um, containers that I got at the dollar store and they're kind of for papers, right? So, well, there we go, let's put that one back. So they're, um, they're storage boxes for papers, but they're perfect size for my wires. So I keep them with them in categories of gauge. Uh, when given lengths will also be in the time stamps. Oh, you're so good. Oh my goodness, thank you, Amber. So Amber always does the time stamps for my, um, for my uh, tutorials and when I do give a length, she will put it in the in the timestamps. I super appreciate that, that's for sure. So we can do this with our hands or we can do this with pliers, but sometimes it's easier just to do the movements with your with your hands. So there goes our heat pump. That means it's warm today. It's, um, we got our second summer, which is nice. Our, let's just call it our first summer because our weather this summer was pretty bad. So there we go. So we've got the skirt here and you could, you could even do it wider if you want, but I don't know if I'm going to do her all this big. Maybe I, I might not do her as big as that. I'm going to just see. So we're going to bring this one around to do her dress. I do a lot of bending with my thumbs it's just easier so we're going to do that i'm going to make her a little smaller i think so i'm going to bring this up here and bend that up and here we're going to bend that up a little bit and these templates you can print them out any size you want if you want to make them bigger or smaller so we've got that there so we're going to bring this one up and then i'm going to do her sleeves um i haven't idea I'm not sure how much I'm not sure how much detail I want to do with the 20 gauge wire because it's quite thick so let's bring this one around I'm going to remove that Peggy nice to see you there we go so we're going to bring this one around and here I wonder if we could just bend that little bit of a shape here here and then we're going to bring this down for the arm. So we're gonna bring this one down and make kind of a puffy sleeve going on here. So we'll do the same here. I'm just gonna bring that one out and around, and then let's make sure they're about the same height. I'm not gonna worry about too much about making these perfect. What we're trying to do on the live streams is just work out the patterns and the designs and then that gives you guys an idea of what works and what doesn't work. So we're gonna bring this one around. On Dorothy's dress, I did sort of a cuff on her sleeve, but I'm gonna keep this one really simple. And I'll, I'm gonna bring that one down and around. And then we're gonna bend that one across. And if you want a sharper bend, just use your flatter pliers. These are the tweezer nose pliers. I'm gonna bring that one here and then puff it around. Okay, so that's cute. And then here too, we're gonna to bring it around here and 
I guess to about here, make sure I'm still on the, on the screen, bringing it here. And then we're going to take that and, is that good? Yep. Bend it and then puff it around here. So there we go. So we've got her puffy sleeves. Wow, she's gonna look like a football player. I'm gonna bring that one around. So we have the dress and then we want it like kind of up and down to make it more like that kind of puffy. So you're gonna bring that one around here. And I'm wondering if I could just do, I don't know if that would look good if we bring it around here. Like to do that type of thing might be interesting. I mean, that that's kind of cool. But then we need somewhere to attach the shoulders. So maybe I should bend it across a little bit, okay? Just so we have a little somewhere to put the shoulders to see if that's gonna work. See, this is where we just kind of like see what works, what doesn't work. We're gonna bring that one across. So if that goes here and here, there, um, we could almost start the uh, shoulders already, but let's just try to bring that one down, get it out of the way, and this one down. And you can compare it to the Dorothy one to see what looks better. I kind of like that crisscross thing. It's interesting. And then if you curved it around, it would just go under the bust line, and then she um, kind of looks like the dress. I like that. So let's start doing a the head, I guess, and see how we're gonna do with that. We could do it the same way. Sometimes it's good. So this wire, um, Amber, is too long for sure, but we'll work out how much that should be because we cut it 20. We cut it 20, and then we're gonna probably clip some off, but I'll let you know how much. And let's start, maybe we could do the crown and then the head underneath. So let's, Let's get some gold wire for the crown. I don't know if 20 is gonna to be too big. We're gonna see. Rainbow Obsidian here, hello, hello, how are you? Now, uh, how do you get the wires so smooth? Uh, well, I you can smooth them out with the nylon jaw pliers, or you can um, just use a cloth and smooth it out, or smooth it out with your finger as well. So there's different ways you can smooth out the wire. So I'm gonna get some wire for the crown. Let's see how much, we don't need a lot, maybe six inches for the crown. Okay, I'm going to clip that here and we go six inch crown. It's good I have the scrap paper to do my um, notes. So the dress is 20, but it will be less than that, that's for sure. Won't work with normal steel pliers. Well, I mean, you don't want to scratch it though. Like with, if you pulled this with your steel pliers, it might scratch the wire, but um, I would advise the nylon jaw or get a cloth. And uh, I mean, you could even do the same thing with, a, um, with your pliers. Let me just get a little cloth to show you. Um, I don't have a cloth handy, but I can use a piece of paper towel. So I'm going to get this. So I don't have an actual rag. You can get polishing cloths that are red, but you could get, you could get some of this um, paper towel or something and either, either like pull it like that, which I do a lot just with a cloth, or if you want it more firm, just, you know, take it in your pliers and, and you can kind of do it that way too. But it doesn't, it doesn't go as smoothly as with the nylon jaw pliers. So you could do that or you can just do that. So so that's one way to do it. So now let us take this and try to do some kind of crown. Maybe I should have made it bigger after all, but I'm not gonna worry a lot about it. And we are going to do, cause I think we should start the crown here and bring it across and maybe see how big this should be. I don't think it has to be too, too big. This is a real experiment. So we're gonna take that and bring it up here. So we have these so far and you can 
put beads on there. But if you want to keep it simple, hi, Emily. Your tip Tuesday, warning makers about the quartz crackle beads. Yeah, some quartz crackle beads after learning how. Yes, yeah, no, the crackle beads, I know a lot of people use crackle beads, but honestly, like I said in the video, even if there's a 0.1 chance of them breaking, I would not use them because what if you sell a beautiful piece of jewelry, spend hours making it, and you know give it as a gift wear it or send it to a client and it breaks like that's so not worth it i've had i don't know i had a lot of those are really popular in the like 20 years ago and i re just remember having a lot of them you know my bags of beads and there'd be a bunch of like um glass shards at the bottom of the bag and it's just it's really not worth it so so no i would definitely not advise those crackle beads they're gorgeous but not worth it. So see, we're doing the we're doing the crown like that. And let's see, the trouble with these is knowing how to finish them off, right? I'm not gonna I'm trying to not gonna do too much fussing around with the the design for this. I'll keep it pretty basic, but you can definitely do a crown that's more intricate but I just want to do a basic kind of crown but now I'm not even sure how I want to finish it because we're going to have a little rough end there so we can maybe just bring this one across and then we're going to see what we do with it so if we bring that one across here and across there and how are we gonna get that to stay? That's the issue. I can almost make her make her um, hair out of the same wire, but we could just we could even just leave it like that. I wonder if it would work if we just no, it might come undone. But or we could wind it around here. Um, oh, what if we made a little loop? I don't know how that would look, but we can try it. What if we made a little loop here to make it fancy? We're gonna see, look cool but fragile. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they still sell them because um, the minute I realized that they were breaking, I'm just like, I'm not gonna buy these again. And I had lots of strands of them because they sell them in big strands. Okay, so let's clip this one. Yeah, my favorite beads, of course, you guys know are the Miracle Beads. And I love cat's eye beads, but they kind of went out of style for a while, which was strange. And so um, they're kind of back in style. You can still buy them, but my wholesaler has a very limited number of colors for the cat's eye beads. Um, but back in the day when I was selling in the 90s, uh, yeah, they were all the rage, especially for rings and stuff like that. So, but yeah, you can still buy cat's eye beads. They're gorgeous. And we're gonna just do four, I think four little circles here. I'm just winging it, guys. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, but I just wanna make it look somewhat even. So what I'm gonna do is like four little loopies here and we'll see if it's gonna work. So we've just done like loops here, four loops, four loops on top. And let's cut this here. Hi, C-P-H-A-Y. How are you? The crown is perfect, thank you. So yeah, I'm trying to keep it simple, but you could definitely do a different kind of crown if you want. So I just put the four loops at the bottom and then these loops here, trying to line them up somewhat. You can spread these out too if you want them more wide. Now this one is for some reason a little up. So we're gonna bring that one down bring that one down a bit bring it down and we're going to bring that one up there we go sometimes it just takes a little bit of adjusting and it's quite tiny so so there's a little crown so the idea would be the crown and oh, i like it actually so now let's get some silver wire for the head um we've got this silver wire hi ruby hope all is well all is good yeah i had a little bit of a problem with an order this morning, shipping an order to the States, because I have a courier service that, 
you know, um, ha helps you choose the best service to ship with um, FedEx, DHL, Purolator, and UPS. Though I don't, I never use the UPS anymore. We always, we always joke around and say uh, UPS is short for "Oopsie, I lost your package," because I've had a lot of problems with them. So I don't use UPS anymore, but I do use DHL, which is great, and FedEx, depending on what price they quote me. So now, I think I just need a little bit for the head. Michael, hello, nice to see you. It's been a hot minute. Okay, so now let's do the face. So we're gonna bring this, how are we gonna do this? Hmm, we are gonna play around with it. Okay, so now I am going to make the, I should probably attach these, the bodice too, okay? Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's bring this one around here and there. So, and then we could figure out how much, isn't that cute? It's so simple. Okay, let's do that. So we're gonna bring that one around and enhance the focus on your end. Is it blurry? Yeah, because on my end, it looks clear. So it could be your Wi-Fi or it could be your playback settings because I think you can play, change the quality of your playback settings. And I forget who told me that. And it was a long time ago, so I don't remember how to do it. So now I'm going to take this and bring that one around here. Hopefully it's not going to get distorted. No, it's fine. And if you hit the settings and choose quality. Yeah, yay, that's it. Thanks, Amber. So we're gonna click that. Okay, so let's keep these ends so we know how long the wire has to be for the dress. Let's see, let's say yes to the dress. That was a fun show when, when Mimi and I used to go to travel and stay in a hotel, we would watch shows like Say Yes to the Dress because we don't have cable. In fact, we don't even really have a TV. Mark watches TV, but he watches all his news channels and French stations. So. We only watch like um, YouTube and stuff like that. But, and when I was a kid, I didn't have cable. So when we went to hotels, we'd watch with my parents, my dad would go on conferences, we'd watch game shows like the Wheel of Fortune and all that type of stuff. That was fun because we never got that stuff at home. So here is the cute little dress. Might or might not be completely even, but that's okay. So, Amber, let's see how much wire we actually used for that dress. Uh, keep in mind, if you make it larger like the template, you'll need a little extra, but it's measured. So we, we didn't use like five inches and four inches, so... I would round it up though. I don't want you to cut too little wire. So let's, if we use, what did we say we use 20? So let's say 12, okay? So let's just say we use 12 inches for the dress. Okay, and we can keep those for something else. So now we have the dress and the crown and we're gonna do the face. Uh, Heather, your work is so amazing. Aw, you're so sweet. Thank you. I'm just trying to figure out how to make my Maui shaped rings. Mm. Yeah, we did talk about that. I think on Instagram you messaged me about that. I think that could work, but they're big, right? So would I forget if we decided that you would you're gonna wrap it right around the finger or do it like a tiny little shape and then do a band. I'm not sure the best approach to that. And uh, I've only done them larger, like I did Africa shaped earrings at one point. I've done larger like the states, different states for wedding cake toppers and with people's names in them. I've done that but um, as for doing tiny little ones it's not as easy. So here we would want the crown and the head and then we're going to just push the wires through those first two holes I think. So at what level? Let's check it out. So let's bend it back now this is where you want to help it with your pliers. So we're going to bend it at an angle and on this side, we're going to bend it at an angle. Hmm, I wonder if my sister's going to hop on today. Kristen, I just thought about her. I should message her. Sometimes she hops on. 
And uh, But usually she asks me if I'm going to be live, so maybe she's not free today. So I'm going to bring this one here. I actually have her portfolio from high school because we cleaned out my parents' place to move them to a smaller place, and I found her old high school art portfolio tucked into their storage unit. So I think she's going to want that back. So now... This is how it would look. Interesting. Is it is the face big enough? Probably. There. Could have been bigger. It kind of looks like it might be over her eyes. So let's move it up a little bit more. Okay. It worked. Yay! Amazing. Thank you, Amber, for uh, figuring that out. And thank you for your patience. Okay, so here, let's try this again. We're going to stick this one in here. I don't know if there's a proper right or wrong side. I don't know if it really matters. Hmm. I'm just flipping it back and forth at this point. So let us stick these in here. Now I'm getting warm. The sun's coming in. Okay, so if we stick those in there, there we have your crown with the head, but now how are we going to get it to stay in place? So maybe we also want to bend these down a little bit more. Okay. Just to start that bend a little bit more. And then stick it right in here. And then we're going to pinch it and pinch it. Oh, that's super fun. So let us line that up. And then what I want to do is get that and actually let's just pull it right down we'll give it a little tug right down here and this side too we're just going to give it a little tug okay and we'll give it a pinch with our tweezer nose pliers and this one too we'll give it a little pinch here and then we're going to bend it straight down if we can access it okay i'm going to just take this and Bend it down on an angle here. Okay, and then this one too, we're gonna to bend it down on a bit of an angle. Oopsies. Okay, so we've got that, but now I think we wanna put it more underneath the head and we're gonna bring it down to form the neck. So we're gonna bring this one down and curve it to the neck. So we're gonna do the same thing here bend it down and curve it out to the next. So that looks pretty cute. You can push it in a little more to bring it together. So that's the idea. This is flip flopping a little bit, but maybe we can figure that out after. So what we would do is we want this to come down here, but then we want it kind of to go out like, like shoulders. So we're going to bring this one here. Remember last time I told you my spring broke in here? I haven't fixed it yet, so I'm going to try to do that at some point. I don't know why these pliers, the spring is never that strong, but I can probably make my own spring with a wire or something. So there, so there's, that looks cute, eh? The neck and that, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to attach it, but maybe from underneath would be better. Yeah, I think from underneath. So I'm going to just take this and bend it up a bit. And I can always adjust, adjust it after. And we're going to adjust this one. I'm actually going to take my sweater off because it's a little warm. There we go. Okay. So now let's stick this in here and here. And there we would have the queen. Now the question is, how are we going to get this to stay properly? I'm going to just try one little twist here and then one little twist here and see how that goes. Oh, it's not bad. I mean, yeah, I don't mind it. It's got, uh, it comes over here, but it looks cute. So that's definitely, that's definitely a winning way to do that. And from there, we can bring that in and maybe give it a little pinch, and then we're gonna clip it. 
clip it. Bing. So what do we say that was for the shoulders? Did I even measure that? I don't think I measured that, but you don't, you really don't need much. You need maybe three inches or something. Yeah, you really don't need much because it's, uh, it's not really wound around much. It's just kind of threaded through. This is cool, man. I'm like totally figuring out hacks on how to attach these pieces together. Okay, so we have the head, the crown, the body. Now let us do some hair. What color hair does Glenda have? Like, I don't know if I want it to do the same color as the crown. I could do rose gold. That's pretty, but maybe that's too thick. Let's see what we got in here. How about rose gold hair or copper hair? What do you think for Glenda? Rose gold or copper? I don't even know what gauge that is. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Rose gold, yay! Let's do it. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. So here we go. Rose gold. Thank you to Beetleon for sending me this beautiful wire. They keep me supplied with this gorgeous, gorgeous wire. Now I don't. I might even have a 24 gauge rose gold. I didn't think about that. That might be better. Let me just see what I got. 28. Hmm. Just checking. So I thought they had sent me some, but maybe not the 24 gauge. Kind of lost track. I mean, because 22 is a little thick, honestly, for hair. Let me see what I got. Wait. This is unra unraveling. I just cut a bunch just in case. Okay, let's just get that. It's a lot here. Okay, let me just see if I have rose gold in. Yeah, because I also have this more blondy, silvery one, which I might end up using if I can't. I'm pretty sure 26, 24 is going to be better then 22. So sorry I got you all excited about the rose gold because now I don't think I have 24 gauge rose gold. So I'll have to jot that down. Though I don't usually use it. So sorry guys, let's use that for something else. Let's see about this one. If it's any, if any good. Be I'm just worried about the, that's going to be a little thick. Okay, why do you dislike Parawire? Um, I don't like Parawire because I find it a little soft. Um, the ones I've tried anyways, um, I won three rolls of Parawire on Instagram. And um, the three rolls they sent me, which was 20 gauge, uh, tarnish resistant, um, uh, copper, but in the silver color, the gold color, and also the green color uh the coated one i really didn't like because my pliers kept slipping off it it was like a funny like thick coating or something and then the silver and the gold i found them too soft it's just a personal preference eh? there's nothing wrong with the wire a lot of people love para wire but personally i prefer the artistic wire i just like the texture of it i like the feel of it and um i love the colors of it for sure but yeah, a lot of people use Parawire. It's not a not a problem at all. Everybody has their personal preference. And I actually didn't even know about the beadsmith wire. Somebody in the group had told me about that. And I ended up quite liking it. Just the color wasn't as nice as what I consider nice as the artistic wire. But the feel, the workmanship, and the quality of the, be um, what did I say, the beadsmith wire? It's very nice. Very nice for sure. So now let us add some hair. Uh, I'm only using this one because the other one is a little bit too um, thick. So, so I really don't need this much wire. I'm actually gonna cut this one in half. Mirta, hello, hello. Uh, beadsmith wire is great too. Yeah, I, somebody in the group told me about the beadsmith wire and I, I assumed it wasn't, you know, very high quality wire but it was quite nice yeah and um 
certainly a gazillion times better than the Panda Hall and the um, a Benacrete wire, which is, uh, Benacrete to me is just very poor quality. So I would not advise that one whatsoever, unless you want a super soft wire and then go for it. So now we are going to put the hair on. So what I'm gonna to try to do here, I sh actually should start at the bottom. So we're gonna start here and I just wanna do some little waves, but I might have to use the pliers. So let's do that. And, uh, uh, oh, we're uh, talking about movie, which I still haven't seen, guys. I feel really uh, bad because I haven't seen Wizard of Oz since I was a kid. So I really should refresh my memory, but one day. So now I'm just doing a, like a wavy here. We're going to bring it down here. Okay. And maybe wind it around. And this has to go kind of behind here. So let's get this one in. Boy, I'm not sure we're gonna have time for the witch, but the um, evil witch, but we're gonna see. If not, we'll do it next week and maybe I'll start the um, Halloween ones next week because um, Halloween's a coming. We're gonna bring this one up here. And yeah, I made some new templates for Halloween because uh, I've done, you know, a lot of the same ones over and over again. Oh, so this is good. Maybe I don't even need this extra bit. I don't know what this bit was here. Hang on, what is this? I don't know if this is extra bit. Where is this coming from? I've, I've, I'm lost in my wires here. So let's just, you know what I'm gonna do is just trim this one off, I think, and start using the other one there. I'll just trim this one here. And then we're going to, next time I'm just gonna start at the bottom because um, I think it would be easier. So this one, I mean, it looks a little funny. I'm winding it around the head. You know what I'm thinking? So it does, I'm gonna remove this and start again because I'm realizing what I should be doing is winding it just on the back neck wire instead of on the face wire. Cause now this looks like she hair, the hair is coming out of her, it looks like she has a big beard. So. Let's do that. Let's pull it back and try it the other way. Okay, start again. Backtrack. There we go. Perfect. And let us remove uh, this one. Okay, perfect. Okay, start again. So what we can do is maybe lift the face here a little bit, we'll pinch it back down after, but if we lift it, and then we're gonna wind the wire just on the back part where the neck is. So let's try that again. What size wire do you use to make the names? I use 20 gauge wire to make the names, for the most part, when I make just the regular size. If I, if I was to make, say, uh, like a larger decoration, I would use 18 or 16, but just for the basic uh, pendants with the names, I would use a 20 gauge. That's definitely my go-to. So let's try this one here. Uh, we're gonna start back at the bottom and wind this around. This is a little awkward to get to now, but it's gotta be done. So let's bring this one around here and start it here. Uh, here we go and around yeah 20 is a nice basic uh, go-to wire that suits a lot of uh, a lot of purposes so now if if you didn't if this didn't wind enough i'm going to just pinch it uh if we get in there come on get in there you there i haven't done any name tutorials in a while um actually i was I'm working on a tutorial, but I didn't I didn't film it yet. So that should be coming up soon. Because somebody had asked me about tracing the patterns of the names, because I'll often draw out patterns for people to show them how to do the names. And I even put like arrows for directions and stuff like that. So I thought I'd do a tutorial on how to kind of create your own patterns for names. And um, I totally forgot about it. So thank you, Jean, for reminding me about that. 
because I've been meaning to do that. And then I kind of got off on a tangent with making those adjustable rings. And uh, there's always a new project, right? So, and then of course I spend a lot of time, you know, just working on other, other creative projects. And I have a art channel where we do painting and drawing and stuff, and I haven't even touched that all summer. But I do want to do a 10 day acrylic painting challenge soon might not be till November. And then of course, guys, don't forget the deadline for Live Wires for the Win to apply to participate in the competition is um, October 10th. So keep that in mind. Oh, my computer's gonna die. Let me plug it in. And so if you guys want to apply, we're accepting 10 people to participate in the Live Wires for the Win. And uh, they have their, their, the Live Wires for the Win has its own channel. So you can check that out and see previous episodes to see if it's something you would be interested in participating in. So that's exciting. And I've um, arranged a new, uh, a celebrity guest judge for the finale. So that's a uh, lookout for that. That's super exciting. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about the show this year. So here we're still doing the hair. Maybe I'll do, I might do four rounds of hair. We're gonna see there. And we're gonna bring this one in. See, this wire's way too long now, but that's okay. So we're gonna bring this one in. And unicorn lady, hello. We are making a, um, a good witch. I got like 10 rings going. Yes, that's awesome. Cool. Yeah, it's nice to work on a bunch of projects at once. And um, I do that a lot with my videos and tutorials and stuff. I start, like I make samples, I start them, and then I, um, you know, work on other things at the same time because ideas uh, like are like um, soup. They're, they have to simmer, and the more they simmer, the more they cook. Uh, the better they taste. So uh, so that's what I like to do with my creative projects. I just like to let them simmer and they get richer and richer and richer, which is nice. Uh, so we're getting there, guys. This is flipping around a little bit, but here, let's do one more hair here. Works well. And then it looks like her face is in the front and the hair is like in the back so that this was a good solution for that and is that enough crinkles let's do one more so i'm sorry this does take a while for you guys like with me troubleshooting and stuff but that's the fun part of the of the um live streams you guys are in like the very like bottom floor of these designs so it's very 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 fun okay so now we can just clip that and um, the advantage is Amber is so kind to make those timestamps. So if there's only one part you need to look at, the timestamps will be in the description of the video uh, within, you know, a couple of days of posting the video. And, um, and then you'll be able to go directly to the part you want. So look how cool that looks with the hair, guys. That looks super cool. It's a little blurry, but you know, I post the pictures in the community section of my channel, so you'll be able to see a better version of that. So let me cut another wire. And uh, Jean says, I tried to check to see if y'all have templates for a bicycle. Uh, yes. No, actually, Jean, the bicycle is one design we don't sell templates for because um, that's a, a copyrighted design that my husband's been making for 40 years. So we don't do tutorials for uh, items like that that we sell, unfortunately. I have some simpler bike um, things that I've made on my channel. Like I have one that's a, um, uh, a paperclip bike I think I did so there's simple bikes like that that uh, that I do have tutorials for but we don't have any templates unfortunately for those sorry about that um, yeah so let's just keep going with the hair and I'll try to I'll try to find that bike paperclip I think it was in the 10 day uh, paperclip making challenge that I did that and I mean you can make it with wire too I just made it I made a really tiny one so now we are going to uh, bring this one here. 
and then we are going to pinch that one in place here and we're just going to keep doing the hair so let's do the little wiggle wiggle of the wire hi candace there we go and if i miss your comments guys just um don't don't hesitate to ask any questions even if you have to ask it twice if i've missed them because sometimes I don't see all your comments as they go by. So let's keep going with the hair. We're starting at the bottom. I'm gonna make sure I'm staying on screen. And we're gonna give it a little wind around here. And then we're gonna bring it back up and we wanna do four of these. So this is definitely worth it to take your time with it because it is looking really nice. Um, I think we might not be able to do both uh, both witches today but I'll definitely do her and then next week I think I'll probably end up doing the Halloween and then we can do the other witch which is more like a generic witch anyways so we're going to bring this one through here around and I have done another witch in the past which was um, a witch on a broom which is really cool so I could link up that live stream as well and or if you just google not Google, but go on my channel and search for um, a Halloween designs. Uh, you should be able to find the witch that was on the broom. I did that uh, maybe a couple of years ago. I kind of lost track. Every year I try to do a few new Halloween things. There we go. There, and then we're just gonna have one more little line of hair and we are good. Uh, what size paper clips? So uh, I use standard paper clips, which are um, 28 millimeters, I believe they're called. And when you open up the paper clip, they are three and three quarters inches long. So that's the size that I use. And if you don't have paper clips, any of those um, tutorials for paper clip rings and things can be made with 20 gauge wire. And if you want it more solid, 18 gauge wire would work too. So yeah, I haven't done a lot of paper clip rings recently either because I've been working on the, I've been working on the uh, re uh, regular adjustable rings. Actually, I have a, I have some new adjustable ring designs I want to do too. So, so many designs, so little time. So here, oh, she looks awesome, guys. I really, I'm happy I used the thinner wire because 24. Is much better than the 22 would have been very thick so here is and then see your head just I don't know if you guys can see but there's two layers of wire here one is her chin and the other is the back so I wound the wires around the back neck wire and then so the face still sits on top so look how cute that is and you will see a picture in the community section so let's do some arms with the silver wire there we go. Here's perfect. Thank you. I don't have paper clips usually. Yeah, I, I buy them. Well, I have bought them at the dollar store, but I find their quality just is not good anymore. So I buy the paper clips usually at Walmart or Staples. And but I mean, I have so many paper clips kicking around my house, so I generally don't have to buy them. So now we have another piece. And again, if you want to straighten the wire, you can just use your nylon jaw pliers or you can just get a cloth and do that okay so now let's do the one arm here as we did before and um i'll do it differently than i did uh dorothy so let me show you what i did for dorothy i'm going to find that one uh, dorothy so here's dorothy I just did a very basic like kind of outline like that. So maybe I'll do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna bring this one down. And if you look at the section of my channel with the live streams, you'll see all the previous um, Wizard of Oz live streams. Having a sip of water. Okay, so what do we want to do? Could even, oh, mm, that might be interesting to put her hand against her dress. Why don't we try something different? Okay, so we're gonna just take this and in the worst case, I can backtrack it. 
So what would happen if we did this uh, and wound it around? You know what, 20 is, 20 is thick for this too. I could have actually done 20, she's small, right? So let's just do 22 gauge. Uh, if I can find it. Ah, here's some 22. And a little baggy here. Okay, so let us do some 22 gauge. Ah, see, this is much more flexible than the 20. And because I've made her smaller, I'm gonna do the 22. And how much will we need? So at least like one and a half, one and a half, at least three, maybe more. So let's cut it about four and trim, clip there. So that's four inches for the arms. That might not be enough actually, we're gonna see. So what if I wound it around here, uh, just here and, cause I'm thinking we can just have her arm against her dress, but I also might pull this back and do something different. So we're gonna bring this one around. Yeah, I'm definitely only gonna do her today because I'm gonna run out of time. So we're gonna do this here and this might look kind of funny what if i did to see those were her fingers and this was her thumb ish maybe and we want to rather than have her arm bent i might just do it like straight up type of thing so what if we did this was her hand the idea with wire art is you want to have sort of impressions of things. So this might make her look like she has a monkey arm, but we're gonna see. So if we bring this here to here. So the arm, if you stand up, I'm standing right now, and if you put your arms straight down, the bottoms of your fingers go to about your mid thigh-ish. So let's see if her mid thigh is about there. You have to kind of think in, in terms of proportions of things. And when you learn how to draw, you learn how to do things like that. So how things look in proportion to other things. Um, it's all about um, comparing uh, one thing against another. And that's why when you do art, uh, something called negative space is very important. So that's like the space around the object. So this here under the arm, like under there, that would be the negative space. And the object itself is just, you know, the object type of thing. I don't know if they call it a positive space. I've never heard, I've never heard of what they call the actual ob object. Art nerds out there, let me know what you call, what's the opposite of negative space. Is it positive space? That sounds strange to me, but it could be. So now we're going to bring this one around. Yeah, I'm definitely an art nerd. That's for sure. So now we are going to clip that. Okay, here, give it a clip and pinch it in place here. So that will be the arm and we're gonna see how that looks. Uh, okay, we're gonna pinch that in there. Okay, so there's one side of the arm and then this one, how do we get her to look like she doesn't have a monkey arm? I'm gonna pinch the fingers together a little bit more and then Bring this one up here. Oh, wow, it's cool. Okay, bring that one up here. Sometimes it's just like little bends and little movements that, that's why art is magical. Sometimes you just do a little bend and you're like, oh, wow, that's so cool. Or is it just me? I don't know. So we're gonna bring this one here and we'll kind of do the wrist a little bit and then out and hopefully it doesn't look like a looks a bit like a foot but that's okay so we're going to bring it here ah oh, i like it it's interesting it's a little a little bit foot ankle like but we're going to try to adjust it a bit and oh it's so cool yeah i like it it's a little foot like but i don't care so we're going to bring this one here we're gonna bring that one around. Mm, I don't know, I could adjust it a bit. Looks a little muscly. Looks great, thank you, Jean. So we're gonna bring this one here, bing. And we're gonna bring that one in here. 
and we are going to pinch that in a little bit. Yeah, definitely the 22 was a good option for this because yeah, it looks very organic. Like I said, it looks a little bit, a little bit like a foot, maybe just because of the size of it. Maybe I can adjust it a bit. I don't know if we can adjust a little smaller. I think I'm not gonna worry too much about it, but you guys can play around with the, with the shape. Or maybe I can just like bring those in a bit. Sometimes you just have to play around with it. Okay. Bring that over a little bit and bring that one. Yeah, because these ones are a little bit. There we go. Sometimes it's you just have to pinch it in so it's going to hold in place. There we go. So there's one arm. Yeah, it does look a little, <laughs> does look a little bit like a foot. So let's just try to straighten it out a bit. I think that's better. Then it doesn't look so much like an ankle. Okay, so now let's just kind of, if you want, if something's like weirdly warbly, I usually just kind of hold it like that and just to like flick of the wrist, twist it like, when I'm trying to make something that stands up, sometimes I'll have to like put it on the ground and like like kind of twist, push, twist, and it's that's how you get things even out. You just kind of play around with it. And then finally, you're, you're gonna be able to like, to, if you wanna flatten it out, you might have to bend one side up a little bit. So it's just little, little adjustments like that. And yeah, so that's good. So now let's do the other arm. Uh-huh. Hands are hard to draw, definitely. The princess from Super Mario Brothers, cool. That's fun. So now let's get another wire and this time we're gonna do a wand. So we could again get four inches so that way we have some leeway. And let's make the wand first. Okay, I'm actually gonna put this, this is 22, I don't wanna forget. So I'm gonna put it back in the bag in my 22 gauge box. And I'm gonna have a sip of water. Um, Rainbow, you you truly have the best way to explain things, Heather. Oh, and says you do, the small details. Oh, I'm so happy, yay. I'm thinking out loud and I may as well share my thoughts with you guys because that's how we learn, right? So now let us get our wand. We can go for gold again have a little bit of, you know, pattern and repetition. So we're gonna get a gold wire and make a wand. So let's go ahead and cut maybe, let's cut eight, cause I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, we could put a little bead in there, might be nice, but, uh, cause it would be interesting to have a little bit of uh, pattern, but you know what? Let me run and get my beads because I think I left it in the basement. I'll be like one minute, okay? Okay, I'm back. My filming studio is in the basement, so I had to go get my, these are those, the tray of beads from my favorite beads video. So I have, I could do the hot pink. I could do pink cat's eye. I could do a pearl. Probably the small bead is best. I also have those faceted beads. These are all the beads I talked about. Ooh, remember the these cool bead caps? We've used these as crowns before. I'm just gonna take that one out. Okay, let's remove that. Pearl. Did you take art classes? I actually did. I studied fine art 
at the University of Guelph and I have my Bachelor of Fine Arts. So um, I took, I mostly did graphic art after graduating, but I, um, I adore drawing. I've always gone to life drawing classes. I've taken other classes like extracurricular classes as well. So uh, yeah, I, I live for art in all its forms. So here, this would have been cute too, eh guys? A little bead cap crown. That would have been super cute. But we are going, we're going to be a purist and do this with wire. And so say we did want to do a wand with a, we could do like a little crystal on the wand too. Um, I could do the little pearl, but this might be a little bit small. See, we could do the little pearl too. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do the star and then we're going to see what happens, how it looks after this. We'll just start with a star and you're great at drawing. Thank you. I love drawing. Yeah, drawing is my favorite thing. I mostly did drawing when I was at university and um, I love figure drawing. I love going to the life drawing classes. They uh, sadly were on hold in 2020, but uh, they're back now. I haven't been back um, to life drawing classes for a few years, but I definitely, definitely would like to do that. There's, um, I just love drawing in, in, <laughs> in all its forms. So wire making is just like drawing with wire. So it's, uh, I happened upon a perfect medium. So to do this star, we're going to start like that. You can measure those sides. I do have a few tutorials on how to make a five pointed star. Uh, basically you want all these sides to be the same length so we're going to go in here and then we're going to do another one in here if they're a little off it's okay so the key with the stars is to get them to all like the, your things to all line up you have to envision that this is like a star that you draw so you know with five point stars you just you get a pencil you do this type of thing right so that's if you make a five point star so the key is this is a straight line 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 and this is the straight line so if you're doing the same thing with this if I'm pat if I'm echoing that it's just basically like that and then this line is straight, and then this would be there, right? So we're gonna do there, and then this line is straight, and then this one, envision it's gonna be like that, and then this one is like that. So that's, you want all these lines to be straight, right? So let's do this out of wire, and so cut, make, bend this at the same place. And then this one too. And I have made the stars with a jig. So if you don't have a jig, and actually it's almost better to make your own jig for the stars because you can use nails, which are much um, finer than the jig pegs. And um, yeah, I just, um, I can kind of freehand them now, but it definitely is helpful to have uh, a jig or a pattern if you want to especially if you want to make a bunch the same size so I'm just going along here and trying to get them even ish and it doesn't have to be perfect but see like these I can see already I've done them too short so we can kind of adjust them a little bit okay so there there's the idea so this is a straight line that's a straight line this is a straight line and you can kind of adjust them as you go and then this could be her one but now the star might be too big but we're going to see so we're going to bring this one down and then this one would go around here okay and then you could bring this up here and we can put a bead in there, but let's see if this one's gonna be gonna look very good or if it's gonna be too big. I kind of like the sparkly bead. There's just something magical about it. So let's just go with this. And we're going to just finish this off. I mean, you can wind it around with more wire if you want, but 
I don't know how that would look. We can try it. If we don't, we're gonna just back pedal. So if you did wanna wind it with wire, you could bring it around here. But then it kind of hides the star a little bit. Anyways, that's an idea if you did want to do that. But I find it hides the star. So let's bring it back. Okay. And we're going to just bend this to the back to hold it in place. Okay. Simple. And crystal pearls on my mind. <laughs> So there we go. So we're going to clip that here. Crystal's nice. It's very magical. And we are going to bring this one in here. Give it a pinch. There. So that's, that's cute. There we go. Okay. I've actually done bubble wands uh, like this before for kids. I used to do a lot of kids' craft workshops, so we make these bubble wands, and then you dip them in soap and blow them and, and make nice um, bubbles. So this might be a little bit big. I mean, you could also bead the wand as well. You can add, like say you wanted to add texture to it. You could always, uh, let me just see. Mm -hmm. Just checking all the wires I have. I don't know if I have 24 gauge. Oh, that's 26. Oh, this is like a 24. This is from Michaels. But sometimes if something looks a little bit plain, you can always grab some wire and give it a little bit of texture. I don't know if I want to or not. I just felt like this was maybe a little bit plain. There goes one of my beads. But you can always go in and add a little bit of texture to it. I like that actually. It's like wire, how wire weaving gives things a nice look. It's the same as, uh, you know, adding just a little bit of wire like that. That's kind of cool. So let's say what we want to do now is, I'll just clip that one. We need to make her hand Oh, that's so funny. Um, Rainbow said she was thinking to twist around the, the wand. Yo. Mm -hmm. Great imagination. Thank you. So let us, yeah, sometimes it's nice to give things a little bit more of a, of a texture. In fact, I could have maybe wound it around there too. I didn't think about that with the thinner wire. Let me just get a piece of wire again. I could have just brought it up and wound it around, but I don't, like I said, I don't know if it's necessary to wind around the, um, the crystal, but you can, see what I mean? Like you definitely can wind it around if you want, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, so let us maybe add the hand first and then add that after. We're gonna see if that's gonna work well. So say we wanted to add the hand, we're going to, take this and wind it around the wand. Mm, is, that way? is that the right way? And we want to do it the other way, I think. Uh, there. Oh yeah, here, wait. Okay. So I want to follow the winds of the wire. So let's bring it here. Uh, how much higher is that about there? So if we want to, it's like the threads of a screw, you know, we want to follow the threads of the screw. So it just goes in between those winds. See, it just fits right in there. And from there, see, it's twisting those. So what we can do is take this and maybe, maybe we can just wind it around to hold it. I shouldn't have clipped it at the top. That's the issue. It shouldn't have clipped it at the top because now it's twisting, but maybe we can fix that if we bring this down here. I'm not sure how high we want to make it. It seems quite long. I think that's long enough though, like that. And what we can do is maybe just do a little finish the end off so it's not... I mean, 
Uh, she probably would have been better too. Um, what I should have done was wound it more around there because it's twisting type of thing. Okay, so let me remove this. Okay. Okay, you guys know by now I'm a little bit of perfectionist. So let's remove that. And let me just remove this for a sec. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to start again. And take the gold wire. And I want to fix it in here first because it's twisting. So let's go ahead and bring that one. What if I just stick it through here? For now and then now we can do the twist so it'll be more anchored in place so let's just go ahead bring it down how much about there for now and then we do want to anchor it up here so we're just going to make sure we pulled it through and around maybe here yeah i don't want it to i don't want it to twist so we're going to bring it there we bring it here and here. Now it's going to be anchored in place. That's better because otherwise it was twisting all over the place. Jen, how are you? Okay, so there we go. So that's better. Now let's get the let's get the arm wire again if we haven't completely destroyed it. Okay, so here's the arm wire. I wonder if we could straighten it out with our with our pliers a bit. There's the nylon jaw pliers. Let's try to straighten it out a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Oh my gosh, the sun is burning my back right now. I'm right in the front window. Okay, so now um, let's take this and we want to follow the, follow the um, threads. So we're going to bend that a bit here. And we're going to just bring that down and uh, maybe up a little more. I'm going to bring it up to the next thread and bring that one around and around and around. Now, is that, see, it's going to do this. Uh, so what we want to do is actually take this and I'm going to bring it through that hand wire and hopefully it's still twisting a bit. Uh, let's see if we go around again. I don't want to twist it too much around there, but I just don't want this twisting a lot. Uh, what's the best way to do that? See, this is the tricky part is to figure out how to attach things. So what if I just, it's going to, end up being a little globby, but I'm just going to do a full twist around that wire. And then it's more secure. Sometimes you have to like secure it in a couple of places. And then we're going to just going to keep going down. Okay, there we go. Boy, that's a lot of time spent on the wand, but I think it's worth it. Okay, so this will be in her hand. It's huge, but it's more like a scepter wand almost, isn't it? It's quite long, I think. So let's just keep bringing it down. I mean, it doesn't have to be necessarily to the floor, but I think that's good enough. So now I will just wind it down like one, two, three, and I will clip it here. And I'm going to pinch it in place a little bit. And then this wire, we can just cut flush. Ah, that's an idea. I could do the little house today. If I have time, I don't want to hold you up either, Amber. Let me see if I have time for the house. And if not, I think I'm just going to go into the, the witch next uh, week. But I do like that house. You're right. I do like that house. It's so cute. Okay, so here's the, here's the wand. Super cute. I really like that. And now we want to bring this one down. This is the hand. And basically, we're going to just bring it here. We'll bring it down a bit. Mm -hmm. And then to form the arm, and then this one too. 
ended up being the arm, the hands a little bit big. I just kind of pushed it down a little bit. And then we're going to bring it down and down. It got a little kinked, but it should be all right. Okay, so now how big does the arm have to be? So not too long either, I think. And this is gonna this is gonna be where it's gonna be tricky to get the proportions right. So if we got that there, that there, and maybe bend it around here, trying to get it in a similar place. I could always adjust it a bit. So I'm gonna just start my bends here and here. And if they're not in the right place, I can still adjust them. That's a little long. So I am going to maybe curl that over a bit more. Okay. And then this one too, maybe curve it in a little bit more and see how that looks. So you see, I'm just making the arm on the scepter. So you might not have been able to imagine before seeing this video, like how you would attach all these things together. Like the idea of starting with the dress is very interesting. And I'm, I'm happy that worked out with Dorothy doing it that way. So proportion wise, I think it's all right. I think it's all right. You don't want it too small either. So let's try this. And then we would have to bend this one we just want a little bit above the elbow showing, not too much. And it looks cool, thank you. Okay. Yeah, this weekend is the um, Canada Thanksgiving. So I know in the States you guys have it in November, but we have our Thanksgiving in October. And um, so far I don't have any big plans. I just went to see my parents last weekend so we're probably going to lay low. Okay, so there's that. I could even make the distance between the, the um, elbow and the sleeve a little shorter maybe. Just a little bit. And that's something you can tweak as you make it. So I'm going to just kind of bring that down. Oopsies, a little bit more. Boy, how many times have I said oopsies on my live streams? Probably a lot. And then we're going to wind this one down a little bit too, just to, so it's not quite as long. Okay. Every day is a day for Thanksgiving. Yes. 100% for sure. There we go. So we're going to do that. And that there. So let us attach that in there. Ah, I think that'll be good. Now, my question is, hopefully it's going to, you know, not slip all over the place. Ooh, I really have to close that curtain. I am getting a sunburn. So hopefully this doesn't affect the video too much. There we go. Okay. Ah, better. Now let's bring this one down and pull it. And then all we have to do is a little bit of detail in the dress and we should be okay. So I'm going to just like tug that a little bit, pinch it in with the pliers and then clip it. Clip it here. Okay. And then this one too, we want to get that pulled down. There, sometimes it's hard to know how to hold this. It's like a little bit awkward, but it should be all right. So if we hold this and then pull that one, give it a good little tug and clip it. I'm gonna grab a, yeah, we actually just bought a huge pumpkin pie from Costco. And we're only three in this house, so we um, didn't want to buy a whole pie for us. So we invited some friends and we went to a local coffee shop yesterday where they have a, a big patio outside that's public property. So we just um, bought our own pumpkin pie, bought two cans of whipped cream, and we sat around. I think there were 10 of us. 
uh, eight of us, eight or 10, I forget. And we shared the pumpkin pie. And it was so nice. It was so nice because, you know, it's lovely to share things. And I'm sure a lot of a lot of the people we invited wouldn't have wanted to have a whole pie either. So we all had a bit of pumpkin pie. We even had a little piece to sh left over that we shared at breakfast because pumpkin pie for breakfast is a necessity at Thanksgiving. Now, I'm just going to... Here, I just have to take my glasses off a little bit to see. I have to trim that a little more, I think. And hopefully not cut right through the wire. Oh my. There we go. That's better. Okay, let's fix that a bit. And and of course we put whipped cream in our coffee because that's awesome. Okay, this is good, I think. So we have so far, oh there's a little pokey end. Doesn't really matter. I don't think this is a, a I don't think it's a pendant, but oh, she's so cute, guys. So there's, there she is so far. I think we should give her little, maybe little shoes. And we also need a, um, a little star, I think, in, on her, or maybe even a little, it could be a little rose or something. We'll have to figure out what we want to add there. Let me see, what are we going to do? Maybe we'll use some of this wire for some of the details in the dress. I think that's what I was thinking to do. And I don't know if I want to go full on chaos wrap. I don't want to make it too, like too much. So let's just get some wire and love her so much. Yay. Well, I can't wait to show you guys an actual photo of her in the community section because right now it's really hard to see on the video. So here is Maybe one day I'll figure out technology so we could actually have clear live streams. Uh, so this is the 20, what did I say, 24 gauge? Mm -hmm. 24 gauge, with it's more or less the same color. It looks a little darker. This is fuchsia and this is fuchsia. It's the same color. Okay, so now um, a little something, maybe a crystal or a star or something there. I don't know, we already have a star. I don't know if we want another star or if we want another, let me see what I have in my beads. Mm -hmm. I have mostly big beads in here. I don't know if there's anything that I would want to use in there. Huh. How about a steampunk witch? I'm being facetious, so <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> That would be cool though, maybe for a different project. Um, what else have we got? I have a little gold jewel here. I don't know, but I don't think I want to do another of the same. I mean, I could do another, another little bead there, but I don't know if I'd want to do that. I also have other like regular type crystals that might be interesting. And I have the like the cat's eye bead, but I think crystals are better than than the um, cat's eye beads. I think they're going to show up better. I also have the pearls, so I mean, there's lots of things we can do. Cat's eye bead. You like a cat's eye bead? I mean, we could do, but I don't know how well it's going to show up. Could try it. And I have a bigger one too. It's maybe a little too big. I think that one's gonna be a little too big. So let me move this over. Huh. Let's see what we can do. If we put that on there, I don't know. I just have to think in terms of how I want to integrate it. Because we could do a little, maybe more like a Maybe more like a flower thing. Let me just try something. Okay, I'm just gonna take this and how um, let me get a different pliers. Okay. Uh, I've got these here. So what would happen if we got no oh, these let's just try something. This might be a little bit big, but I'm gonna just do a bunch of these loops uh, 
here and try something. And if it doesn't work, I mean, could do a little rose too. That might be cute. Roses are cute. Just a little wire rose, but I'm gonna play with this because I do have quite a bit of wire. So let me just try this type of flower thing here. Okay, I'm gonna bring this one around and then maybe I'll bring that which way up maybe and I'm gonna bring this one around. And this way, okay. And then I can, let me get some of these out of the way. Oopsies. My cleanup is always a little easier than I used to have because I actually have some order in my wires now, whereas before they were just in Ziploc bags and everybody was like, how do you organize your wires? And I'm like, I just put them in Ziploc bags. And now I'm like, I can't believe I told people to put their wire in Ziploc bags because they were a hot mess. So you're better to um, do something like I do now in the, um, in the Tupperware things because then they're like wide and flat and you can see you can actually see where all your wires are. So here is, we're trying something here. We're gonna see if this works to do, um, yeah, let's just try this. I'm gonna bring this one here and bring that one down here. And let's put the bead in the middle and see what it looks like. Pecans. You guys talking about food? Oh, yum. You're making me hungry. Pecan pie is good. And we have leftover whipped cream, so I could definitely go get a pecan pie. So here, it's cute. Let's see how this is going to look. And then maybe you guys can decide. So I've just put, I've just made like this little rose, like this little flower. It's quite cute, actually. You know what? I think I'm going to go for that not only because it looks cute but because Sharon asked for it and Sharon's awesome so there we go so let's do that and um what if we bent one this way and then the other one the other way how would that look we could try that okay just to hold it in place and then this is a bit of a hot mess here not sure what I did there but we're gonna bring that one in and here, the flower's cute, eh? Yeah. Well, that's thanks to Sharon because she said to use the cat's eye beads. So there we go. I do as I told, as I'm told, some of the time. Okay. So here is the flower. Oh, it's super cute. I think I've made earrings like this, but now I'm not sure. So let us put that there. She has a super flower power belt on now. So we're gonna put that there. Cute. And then we wanna do some little texture, like some little uh, drapery in the dress. So let's hold this one here and then wind this one around. Get it in there. And make sure it's somewhat, um, centered should be all right so we're going to bring this one in i wind it around once uh, here so i don't remember how long i cut this wire i think it was a good like at least 12 15 inches i think uh, amber i cut and um make sure when you make the flower to do it in the middle of the wire so then you'll have wires on either side that you can work with so we're just gonna attach this one here connie you made it, yay. So we're gonna bring this one in here, wind that around a couple of times around here. Okay, might have to kind of push it down a little bit. Oh, it's so cute, guys. So how are we gonna do these um, drapery things? So I, I really don't want to do too much like crazy detail in the dress but I kind of want to give it a little more detail so this is where I'm not and as it turns out this wire is not 100% the same color as the other one so they might have been from 
like one might have been from a few years ago or something. It's hard to tell because I wouldn't have necessarily got all these wires at the same time. So it's just very slight, very slight. Okay, so what if I could always pull this back? So say we're doing some kind of drapery here. It might look funny, so I might have to change it. Yeah, it really might look a little bit funny, but we don't know unless we try, right? So if we did something like that, and actually maybe you should do, if you're doing this, we should do the um, not center. We should not center the flower because that way you could just go across with one wire rather than trying to meet up in the middle. Okay. So that's interesting. I don't hate it. Uh, okay, let's try that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip this wire because it's a little in the way. Wow, there's a bright sun coming in. And then this one, I feel like this one is a little pointy. Let me bring this one in a bit, there. So this would be kind of representing the drapery. And it also just gives it a little bit of texture. So let's try it. Let's try it and see how it works. So if we bring this one up here, and then we would want to wind this in place. So I'm gonna bring this one up. I can always clip it if it doesn't look good. And then I'm going to just bring it above the flower so it won't slide down. So let's get that one in here and just bring it around and I'm going to clip it here. Okay, so let's see how it looks. Try to adjust it so it looks like drapery. And it's a little wild but I don't mind it, and it's different than the chaos wrap. Let's see how it would look if we added more, and then that might be a little bit too much, but we don't know until we try. So I'm gonna cut another piece of this wire. And drapery, yes, it's like drawing drapery. And uh, it's different than the chaos wrap because the chaos wrap is more kind of, um, just decorative, but this is actually somewhat like realistic in a sense. So let us try another row and probably it's not necessary, but we don't know until we try, right? So what if I just do, and I don't even know if it should be like even or like that or like that. I'm just, it's looking a little gloopy, but we're gonna just see. I'm just kind of bending the wire and maybe it has to be even more. So we're gonna see. This might not make any sense. Um, then we're just gonna try it. I just want it to be not super even either. Um, this one should be like up there, maybe. I'm just really playing around with this. Okay. Because the thing with art is you don't want it to be too consistent. No, I'm not sure what that's doing here. And maybe I'll do this one up a little harder. I prefer the two. Oh, now they're not so, they're getting a little kinked there. So I might have to either start it over or just adjust it a little bit. Yeah, I feel like, um, how do I want to do this? I just want to bring this one down a little bit more. Sometimes when you overwork it too, it starts to look funny. So there's something about the spontaneousness of your first attempt at things that's really nice. And then sometimes when you try to 
adjusted like what I'm doing now, then it loses that kind of uh, fresh feel to it. But we're going to try. So this would be another row of drapery. Let's see. Let's go to play around with it for a second here. There. And you guys can tell me if you can see it. Should I bring it up further? Let me see if I could bring it up higher so you guys can see it. Mm -mm -mm. Is that a little better? A little better. Wow, it's really bright now. So if I stand and if I go in front of the sun, so this is one row of drapery. And then this would be, oops, this one maybe. This would be, hmm. Now we have to get it so it sits properly though. Maybe this one's too high. That's the thing, you know, maybe I'd have to wait. Sorry, let me just try something else because sometimes it's hard to get them to line up. But say, for example, we just started this here and then I just tried it to, but basing it on what's already here. So let's just try this. We did this and then that and then that. Maybe up a little more. And, okay. and then maybe even up a little higher because that one does have a little bit more space. And then that way. And then this one's much lower, a little bit lower even. Mm. And there. And then there. Oh, I'm really not sure if this is working at all, but we're going to see. So say we started with something like you have sort of a little ballpark of how it looks. Uh, and then what, like, let's see if it might, maybe that has to go down more. Um, that one maybe. Um, let's see. In my head, it's working, but I'm not sure it's actually going to work. Then I might have to adjust it a little more, but this is the idea. So you guys let me know if you like. Here, I have to bring that one over a little bit more. After all this, let me know if you prefer one row of drapery or like two rows of drapery. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, two to the bottom. Oops. The two of them. Two rows? Okay. Because we can do, I mean, you guys have a look. Because I feel like this is a big empty space. So if you prefer one row, you could maybe even do them lower. But I'm thinking... I agree with Amber that it needs a little bit more pizzazz. So why don't we do two? Because you know what? Why not? It's already there. It's made. So let's just do it. So we're going to bring this one here. And she's a jazzy good witch. So we're going to bring that one around and we're going to clip it both. Yay! Okay, so clip that and oopsies. Yeah, that's the that's the trick with wire art is trying to fill up the fill in the spaces uh, without it looking like too crazy. So you you guys know I often use the chaos wrap to fill in areas uh, with color, but this is working super well. I like it. Okay, so let's do this. It just feels like it looks cool. Like it looks, it looks like drapery. So now we're gonna clip that. And then I think she'll be pretty well done, guys. That'll be almost two hours. Oh my goodness. I haven't even had to take a pee break. There we go. Perfect. Go that way and this way. Perfect. 
Oh, she is adorable. Now this is slightly flipping, but I'm not gonna worry too much about that. You know what I could have done? If it flips and it's not too late, let us just remove a little bit of this, okay? Let's just remove a little bit of this wire. Okay, so if it's flipping, there's always a solution. Let's get a little piece of our gold wire and follow the follow the thread. So pretend just pretend you've left a tail of the gold wire here because what we can do is I'll just add wire. Let's just pretend we're not adding wire. We're just pretending that's the tail. And then we can bring it right around and then we're just Attach it to the dress. How's that for a solution? Not only that, it's going to attach it so it doesn't flip. Plus, if we tuck it under this end, it's gonna prevent this wire from flipping up and down. So let's do that. We're gonna pinch that up in place and we're gonna pull it around underneath the drapery. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then the drapery wire will stay in place too. So it's a win-win in wireland. There we go. And now we're going to trim that. Ah, now she is gorgeous. Amazing. Now, what about, should we do shoes? What do you think, guys? Should we do shoes on her? I feel like... She's a little short, but that's okay. Maybe we should do shoes sticking down or like I, if I was to do shoes, I think I would just do like little loops there, but I'm not sure. Love, love, love as it is. So no shoes. You couldn't see the shoes. Okay. You the boss. So let's do, she's done. Okay. We're done guys. <laughs> I forgot about that we're already done, but should we do the house super fast? I don't know if we should do that house super fast. We can try it. Let's try the house super fast. Okay, wonder if we could do it with one piece of wire. Let me get some wire. I'll use this wire silver. The tips of anything. Yeah, that's why I thought maybe the tips, but then also they might, it might look funny on that design. So if you guys do wanna add shoes, you could, you could just um, like get some wire and is she here? You could just, um, you know, whoops, I don't know if that's like that, but like you could add underneath like little, little pointy shoes or something, but you would have to twist, the trouble is you'd have to twist the wire on the dress. I think it might, I think it might take away from it. Yeah. I think I'd leave it like that. Okay, so let's try the house, but I'll make it quite small. So let's cut about, I don't even cut 24 inches, which is way too much. Let's cut, well, maybe 24, I don't know. Let's cut 20, should be good. Okay, and we're gonna do this fast. Looks great, thank you. Okay, quickie house going up in a tornado. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, and I will add this uh, image to the templates. So if you are buying the templates, I will be adding her later today. And if you've already purchased the templates today, I will add her as an extra after the fact. Because when you buy the templates, you can download them right away. And sometimes people have issues downloading them, but if they're, if you have any issues, I'll just email them to you. So now, house, we want to just do a super fast house. So let me take, we want a bit of an end, right? So if the house, we can start it here. So if we do a little door, now I didn't actually look at a picture of the house. I just did a generic house. So if there is a picture that's more realistic, you can do that. 
And I'm gonna just try to do a very basic house. I don't know if I've ever done a house on a live stream before. I've definitely made houses. I think I've even made little house earrings before, but I don't know if I've ever done them on YouTube. So we're gonna do a little door handle. Bring that down. And uh, there we go. We're gonna pinch that in there. Perfect. Okay. So there's just a little simple door and we're gonna bring this one around and we have to bring it up and then do a kind of a window. So I don't think I'll do the crisscross in the window. If anything, I would maybe add that with wire after, but I'm gonna to try to keep this super simple because we have very little time. I just wanted to get the idea here I don't even know if I'll put this one in the thumbnail of the video. I think I'll just, um, I'll just, uh, you know, do it for you guys. And I'll put a picture in the, in the um, community section. So now I'm just bringing that out a little bit at the side where the, where the um, roof line would be. So we're going to bring this one up. Uh, and uh, you could do a little chimney. Bring that one. I mean... There, we're just gonna keep it simple. So we're gonna do a little chimney. I'm not gonna do any too much detail of the um, the little thing across the chimney. We'll just keep it keep it pretty simple, and then bring this one up a little more. It's a little chubby chimney, but that's okay. Okay, so here's the house with the chimney, and then the top of the roof down. Hopefully it's a good size there. And so there, and then we want to do the roof other side. So we can measure it if you want. You can just, looks like it's about half an inch or something, maybe a little more, maybe five eighths. Bring it across, okay. And just eyeball it, see if you need a little less. You can just roll it in a little bit if it's too much. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Cute. And bring it out a little more. Okay, and then we wanna bend it. Uh, well, I also kinda like the idea of having some kind of roof line there, so I don't know if that would work or not. I also don't want to run out of wire. So if we, we can try to do a kind of roof line, otherwise I can bend it straight down, but I do like that idea. And actually on this one, I did like a little circle there, but I think I might keep it simple. Like what if we just bent this back? Might look funny. We're gonna try it. Okay, so if we did that, I mean, it's, it's okay, it's not perfect. And then we brought this one down. Oh, I think maybe it's not wide enough now. Yeah, see, it should have been, the door should have been over a little bit more so we could get a window there. Okay, let me do the window and then I'm gonna see what I could do about moving the door. Okay, so we're just gonna get that one here and up uh, and then across and then down oh looks great thank you no shoes yep perfect thank you so we're gonna bring this one down and then the, this will be it for today guys because we've been on for a while boy these the wizard of oz ones take a long time so there's the windows and i want to move the door over so i think what i'm going to do is just lessen the space that's there so i'll bring it down and then bring it across and it should then the door should sit underneath the windows which will be better there there we go that's better now there's almost too much space on the other side but that's okay so we have our little cute house which is 
somewhat symmetrical. And now what we would do, what I was thinking to do is I'm going to use this to make the tornado, but I want to, yes, I'm gonna wind this around here first to secure it. Okay, here. Right like that. And then this little piece, um, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna do that here. And then this one I'm going to bend up. This is how I often will attach two wires together so they don't like move. So I twist one and then twist the other one so they won't slide all over the place. And now we're gonna clip that one here. Now you can add detail to the house. You could put beads, There's all kinds of things you can do. So here's the house. Amber, I don't know if you remember how long I cut the wire, but I did cut it way too long. So there's the house. And then I wanna do a kind of, let's get our cone to do the, um, to do the spiral. Where did I put my cone? Let me go find my, oh, it's right here, cone. Mm -hmm. Actually, we'll be about right on two hours because I started late. I had some technical issues. So now we are going to take this cone, hold this, and just start here and maybe start at sort of the width of the house and then just bring it down, down, down. So we've got so far, oh, it's kind of cool. We've got that, but let's make it even thinner towards the bottom. So maybe we can, I don't know, stick our pliers in there and then wind it down a little bit more. Okay. Here, so we've got it like even a little bit. And, and you know what, it doesn't have to be equal. It's kind of nice if it's a little more wonky. And let me get a piece of wire. I'll get a slightly thicker piece of wire to wind it around. I have some, it's like 18 gauge or something. So let's put that one down here and just kind of wiggle it down. That's it. And honestly, it, it, it could definitely look more wonky here. And let's see. So it's almost like too consistent now but it's okay so i like i like when it's a little the it's not like a consistent spiral i kind of like it when it is a little bit more wonky these ones i'm going to open them up a little bit at the top Hi. so it's a little wider hey mimi i'm just finishing up there we go i'm gonna do that and maybe should have it's kind of interesting. It's definitely very wonky, but that's okay. We can move this like, we can move these in a little bit more. Yeah, I like it when it's kind of a little bit more messy. Yeah, it's it, it just looks more natural when it's, I think so, but maybe not. So we're gonna bring this one in a little bit and bring that one in a little bit. Okay. That's cool. Okay, so then if you're gonna do something like that, but then we want it to maybe stand up or something. I don't know, maybe I should have made it more consistent. I'm gonna bring this one in a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna bring that one up here. Yeah, there's, there's all kinds of ways you can do this. I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit more to make it a little more coil-like. And this one too, I'm gonna to just fix it up a bit. I'm not gonna to worry too much about this. There we go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a little bit wonky, but you can do the spiral however you want. And then what I would do is if you want it to stand, I would make a larger circle at the bottom, okay? make a larger one and you could even kind of do one of those like regular spirals that I do and cyclones aren't 
that neat. No, no, definitely not. We could do a little cow getting sucked up in the cyclone, but that would be, that would be sad. Or a car. Although were these, I don't know, how old is Wizard of Oz? Were there, were there cars? Or was this pre-cars? I don't remember when it was written. Okay, so now, yeah, actually this looks super cool. And then I've done the spiral. And then the house kind of sits up. This is exactly what I envisioned actually. So we can just do the house kind of sticking up. Let me just adjust this. I do want it to be curved, you know, like a, anyways, you can make it as, you know, funky as you want, but this is definitely the idea. And I'll put a better picture of this in the community section so you guys can see around here. And if you want the sort of the cyclone to touch down, you can put it right down like that. And then you can just center it how you want so it's balanced. That's cool, there's a shadow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a cool little shadow. So we just wanna make sure, and this too, this is where you can adjust that to sit how you like. And there is the house. Do you see the shadow? That's cool. Nice. So I'm gonna hold these up so you guys can see them. And let me put this on my hand. over so I have something to put it against okay so here is the cyclone I'm gonna put much better pictures you guys can't see them very well I don't think so here's the cyclone house and then the good witch so I I will definitely put some better pictures so you guys can see these things 1939 okay cool awesome so let me flip the screen and I'm going to say goodbye for today. Thank you guys for staying on for so long. Wow, I had no idea it would take that long to make uh, to make uh, Glenda. And then we had a very quick cyclone. I wonder if I can show it to you up close. There, can you see that? It's kind of funky. I like it. I'll put a better picture in the community section. So guys, thanks so much for uh, hopping on. Hi Candace, what makes this video super long? Um, yeah, so it's long because I do these live, but you will be able to watch the replay of the live stream and Amber is gonna make some timestamps. So if there's only one part you wanna see, you can jump to the part you wanna see if you click on the timestamp uh, that are, she's gonna put them in the comments and I'll put them in the description of the video. But uh, yeah, so that's it guys. Uh, sorry I can't see your comments now, um, just heading off, but thank you so much for hopping on. Thank you, Amber, for always moderating the chat and for doing the live streams. Thank you everybody for your great feedback and ideas. And we will see you the next time. And don't forget to um, apply for Live Wires for the Wind if you're interested in uh, participating in the season uh, three. I'll link up uh, the channel below and we will see you next time. Bye!